Hey folks, DC7 here. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013, first episode of 2014. Hope it's doing well by everybody. So, we are, well, in all honesty, still in the process of uh, ripping off every field I can find. I figured after... Uh, Hitting up the real estate officer the last time and then accidentally buying a field that we can't use. I'd take advantage of all these nice crops being out there. And squeak through. There we go. So yeah, I've harvested uh, three or four barley fields, a couple of wheat fields. And to be honest with you, I think actually I'm going to uh, take this and drop it into the other Mish station. The only thing we're really, really getting ahead on is <laughs> straw. So, I'll just uh, show you our numbers here in a second. Now that me station's already full of straw, so it's got 50,000 in it. This guy needs a little more, I believe. There we go. And let's uh, go over here, and we can see that after all that, even though we get uh, 325,000 straw, okay, plus 100, or 50,000 in that one, and darn near 50,000 in this one, so we got about 400,000 straw, and yet wheat, we've only got 18,000, and we started with, I think, four and change, and barley, 35,000, and again, we started with some in the tank, so, yeah, it's not... Uh, not exactly a uh, a super super high harvesting but then again these are still um fields that were here when the game started which means they were not fertilized etc so they're only giving the uh, you know at best 50 percent of standard yield so however we certainly can't say that for our little straw truck because he's doing his thing and so far hasn't run into issues. I've gotten the harvester has gotten stuck a couple times where there's been enough of a a rise in the land that he's not got enough push to get his uh, get his header up over the lumps. So we've had that issue, but other than that, it's been pretty good that way. And, uh, yeah, that's what we've been doing with this. And like I said, so far I've pulled, I think, three barley fields and two wheat fields now. There we go. Let's see. Okay, here's our tractor waiting for the harvester. We got quite a hill here, and he, uh... <laughs> that harvester slows down a lot, so. And, alright, there's the harvester. The other thing we want to have a look at, this is the other project I've been working on. That little massy tractor was giving me issues. Um, basically, it had this kind of weird stutter. I don't know what was going on, but even on the roads, it kind of, well, I don't know. You're lucky if you didn't get motion sick, put it that way. So what I've been doing up here is kind of, uh, yeah, scraping up the corn into uh, chaff. And I have, I haven't put any in the cow barns yet because I want to deal with the cows sort of in an all-at-once kind of fashion. Um, what I have done, however, is... Uh, Here we go. I have put one trailer full into the silage pit to start. So, um, that's about where we are now. Okay. There we go. And there are some fairly steep parts here too, but so far we haven't really had an issue. Um, a lot of the fields we want to, uh, go through first and uh, cut headlands in places that uh, 
not only are we going to run into things, but there were a few spots where the angles on the hills are just a little too sharp for a straight up run. Um, and those ones, yeah, it definitely pays to uh, angle your uh, your device a little differently, even if it means you got to square up the field or unsquare the field in some cases. So other than that, what do we got going on? Doing uh, kind of a comparison video study between Farming Giant and Farming Manager. Um, they are, in essence, the same game, or at least definitely the same genre, and built very close to each other, but with quite a difference in age, and uh, a little bit of a difference in features and focus. So we got that going on. Um, I have, or at least will, in about another week, have been producing videos for exactly a year. And, uh, good thing it's a hobby, I'll tell you, because if I was counting on it for anything else, I would have to declare that I have been one great-ass failure. <laughs> Indeed. Well, we're up to 69%, and you can see we're just struggling to get over these rises. There we go. And, of course, we've missed a few spots, too, and that's okay. Some of this corn, I think, I will take down with the harvester. And then we get this, where the downhill makes you go too quick, and you miss a bunch. And see, we're up to nine. Uh, and then, of course, that messes up your cruise control. <laughs> because cruise control doesn't actually hold you to a certain speed, it takes you up to a certain speed. So yeah, it's not uh, not in fact a cruise control in the way we think of it. So yeah, this is the next project. This is a large cornfield. Like I say, I will I have a little four row head for the harvester. So that ain't much, but uh, it's what we got. As you can see, we're back from our 9 miles an hour on tempo 2 to 2.9 miles an hour. So yeah, there's a fair bit of terrain involved dragging this hill. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, get the last couple rows. There you go. Well, 10 minutes into an episode, I haven't been killed yet. That's got to be a good sign. Got to be a good sign. Clean up a little bit of this. There we go. Some of what we screwed up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, see, do not drive too fast. A little bit of a dip, and it's enough to uh, take us past our required speed. Tick, 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 tick. Well, this isn't going to take us to our 100, but like I said, it should. Uh, Clean this up a little bit and make it easier to deal with. Oh, are we going to even make it down to two mile an hour? Eh, come on, baby. You can do it. You're in all-wheel drive. There's nothing else I can do for you. This uh, Schluter tractor is, uh, unfortunately, uh, a few horsepower lighter than uh, the case that I get rid of. It wasn't a Massey, sorry. I, every time I see a red tractor that isn't this Schluter, I think Massey, but of course it was actually a, a, a case, or international harvester as it were. And, uh, yeah, there's a difference of, uh, ah, damn it, see, I didn't cut any of that. So trying to make up that patch didn't do me any damn good at all. And I don't want to go cruise control one because, I mean, good lord. That's like two miles an hour. You know, I'd like to get at least one job done a day. <laughs> and at two miles an hour, we ain't going to get a whole lot of one jobs done in a day. All right, our harvester is full. So we're going to trim off this row and then go visit him. And as we are almost full here, 
we'll be able to run this fella down the hill as well. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. 100%. Let's shut her down. And might as well bring it back in. There we go. There we go. Down the big hill. <laughs> you can see that uh, it doesn't take too much and your speeds really start coming up here. Yeah, downhill now and we've already over 30, so we need to slow down. There are some big bumps there. And it's all we can do to fit this thing as it is. So. Now, this is a bit of a rough road. The uh, Our little chaff cutter here tends to... A uh, little white guard. Well, it's got some pointy parts that stick out the front that I swear. They can reach an extra two feet over whenever they want and just grab things. <laughs> Yeah, there's our little coroneter. As you can see, it isn't uh, not exactly designed to just grind through a cornfield, but okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I actually wanted to see what's going on here. Ooh, five percent. Look at that. Let's get this one compacted, and then I'll bury the other one down. There we go. Yeah, let's pull it forward. Nice. Well, it's not going to take uh, too much of this by the looks of it to actually start to... Oh, come on. Come on. Don't do this to me. Is that enough of a bounce? Come on. <laughs> Yes, it was. All right. And again, this barely fits, but that's okay. There we go. Ta-da. And we will haul him back up the hill. If we can get through all of this in one piece. And swing nice and wide, and then right through the center. Ooh, perfect. Perfecto. And we'll go back up the hill, and uh, another few trailers. I don't know if I want to fill that bin, or if I just want to do about half and fill it, or what. But we'll see. Alright. Starting off at 14 and a half at the bottom of the hill. Let's see how well we're doing by the time we hit that bio plant, shall we? He's losing fast. Yeah, it's half our speed. And creeping down to a quarter of our speed. No, but a third. So, <laughs> five mile an hour. There we go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we are. Perfect. And as you can see, uh, I ain't doing a whole lot of damage to the amounts on this field. Damn. Unbelievable. You have no idea how long I was pressing that brake pedal. <laughs> that little bit of a downhill just got the tractor going. Alright, now we need to get to this guy. Empty out our harvester. So, I say there's some pretty good hills here. And this trailer is only at 28%, so it shouldn't slow them down too badly. And you can see we're still only making, you know, six something mile an hour. So, no, I'm, uh, so far I think this map's a pretty good choice. We'll see how I feel about it when we go to start selling crops and have to drag them all by shovel pull into the trailers, but. So far, not bad. It is presenting enough of a challenge. Um, you know, as I said, there's... Uh, this is, I think, the first field in... Well, actually, the first field period that I haven't had to go run headlands around. 
and that's only so far as you can see there's some pretty wild shapes here and you never know when you reach a point where it's just suddenly too too much of an angle between the bottom of that uh, header and the, the front tires and uh, that's it your guy will come to a stop and uh, you got to take over and kind of combination of bouncing the header up and down and wiggling the machine back and forth uh, try and get her back into a usable position there we go so yeah that's what I've been up to clearing fields that uh, we didn't really have to pay for at least not yet and once they're all cleared then we can start our own farming so uh, I think until that's done this has been Species 7. Take care of each other, folks. We'll see you next time around, and ciao for now.